Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Good morning and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha. Thank you so much for joining me today in episode 181. We are going to talk about bathroom remodeling ideas. And this came up in a conversation with my father-in-law who's visiting us. And we um, he wanted to update it, basically his master bathroom. And because my mother-in-law, um, she was in a wheelchair before she passed away, Um, He had really had a hard time with remodeling or actually getting her in the shower, bathing her, that kind of a thing, because they don't have a, um, you know, a walk-in shower type of thing. They have a tub that they have to step over. And I know if you're thinking of your aging parents, you may or may not realize that, that that is kind of an issue for them. Um, And so he's been thinking about this, has been asking a lot of questions um, about that because he knows how difficult it was. And we're, you know, trying to tell him, look, if you're going to be doing such a renovation like that, do it now, do it early. And that's why I wanted to share with you some bathroom, bathroom remodeling ideas, because I've also seen some of you have been, um, on Facebook showing your pictures of bathrooms that you've bought the houses. And now these bathrooms are just killing you. (laughs) You're going, Oh my God, what do I do? I'm on a budget. I don't have a budget. What colors do I use? All that kind of stuff. So that's what I want to talk with you about today. So let's get started about talking about bathrooms. So like I said, he wanted to do a remodel of his master bathroom. And so he doesn't have much room. He has an existing shower, shower tub combo. You know how that goes, right? Um, it's an insert. So one of those fiberglass type of things, and there's really not a whole lot of room to really maneuver and do much. They have a two sink, um, cabinet and a toilet. It's not huge. I would say it's probably like eight, maybe eight by 10, maybe. I mean, you'd think it'd be pretty good. A hall um, bathroom that we renovated was eight by six. So it was eight feet long by six feet wide. So barely, it was, it was like a hallway, really. This one's kind of almost squarish, a little bit big, you know, kind of big for a master. Um, but what he was thinking was, you know, trying to have a curbless or zero threshold Um, shower, just the shower, get rid of the tub. He doesn't use the tub anyway. And in his older age, he could care less, right? Um, He just wants to be able to walk in and just take a shower. And especially if he's thinking, you know, he's like, I want to do that, you know, be in the house for the next 10, 15 years or so, you know, in case I have the same issue where, you know, I have to get in a wheelchair, God forbid, but you know, he's thinking ahead, which is fantastic. You know, I'm glad he's trying to do that ahead of time. Um, So he was thinking, well, what can I do myself? What DIY stuff can I do? Well, as a 70 plus year old person, I'm thinking here, I wouldn't do very much of anything. (laughs) Like, and he's very, very handy kind of a man. So he wants to do a lot of the stuff himself. And if you're also grown up in that kind of era and you know, your parents, they're penny pinchers. They want to save money wherever they can. They don't want to spend the money as, as, as of my generation, I'm in my forties, um, time is money. And we, while yes, we may do some stuff ourselves, we will gladly pay someone else to do it. That number one has the skills, has the time to do it, um, and can do it quickly versus if I did, you know, a shower, you know, ripped out a shower and had to tile it, put a shower pan, all that fun stuff, man, that probably take me like at least a month, if not two, probably two. Okay. Between my husband and I, because we'd be doing it after hours on the weekends. And then of course the kids would be like, well, mom, dad, we want to go do something. And we're like, well, we're kind of busy with the bathroom. Right. So you know how time consuming that can be. Right. So we told him, well, if anything that you want to DIY, I would have the plumber put in the shower pan. Okay. They know how to do that kind of stuff. And there are so many different products out there. There's the Schluter um, kind. It kind of looks like styrofoam. It's a great um, system. We've used that before. Um, that may be something you may look into using. It is expensive, but it helps seal the way you use it. There's um, 
seals and stuff like that that you use to help keep the water from draining through the cracks and, and you know, getting mold on the on the um, walls, inside the walls and things like that. Because that's one of the worst things you, you could possibly ever do with a remodel if you, you know, you put it in there and do it yourself, but then there's water seeping through and that's just horrible. So um, I, when it comes to a new shower pan, because you basically have to, you know, rip out the old bathtub shower um, combo and actually get in, you know, a new shower pan that is the same width and length of the shower. And so he explained, well, you could have a linear drain at the far end and kind of tilt it so that if it is a curb less or a zero threshold type of a shower, you'd put the drain towards the back wall, not where the entrance is, because the, the sloping of the pan would go towards the, the further end away from the door, because you don't want water running into your bathroom, right? That you don't want the rest of the room wet. That's not the idea here. So we told him about that. We showed him some pictures. I actually drew a little picture for him and said, hey, this is how I would set up your bathroom with the shower this way, a glass wall or a partial glass wall with no door. So literally it's half a wall of a glass wall and then the other half is just an open entrance, no lip. So if you, you know, are in a wheelchair, you just drive right in and, you know, turn the wheelchair and, and you're in, right? Um, or step out of the wheelchair and step in without having to get in very far, right? Without having to step over a curb. Um, and then he said, well, what if I tiled the bath, the shower area? I'm like, well, you could do that too, but again, time is money. If you don't, you know, want to worry about that, that may be something that you can have a tiling guy, you know, do for you. And he's like, well, where would I find a plumber? Where would I find a tile guy? I'm like, well, that's a very good question because we had to do our own research when we did have to get our bathtub tiled. Um, we actually ended up going to the tile store that we ended up finding our tile and we asked the owner there, I'm like, Hey, do you list, have a list of tradespeople that you would highly recommend to install the tile? And he said, yep, he had a list. Um, but he couldn't tell you which one was the best, you know, cause sometimes they're kind of like, well, they may be, you know, what kickbacks do they get? You don't know, but that may be something that you guys might want to take a look at too, is ask for a list of people. But if you don't know, maybe you have an, a trusty electrician or a, a great pest management company that you really love. Ask them if they have a plumber that they trust coming into their house or a tile guy. Okay. All the tradespeople know each other, even though they're different trades. Um, and they know who they would call in, in case of a plumbing emergency. I go, oh yeah, we're calling this company. This other company, mm -mm. I trust this person, this company, whoever it may be. So that may also be a route that you may take. Ask family and friends. Maybe they've had some tile work done or plumbing issues done in their house. Ask them. Maybe they'll tell you who not to talk to. Okay, so that's a great place to start when you're looking for new stuff that you just quite can't handle it yourself. Okay, so as we're going through that, he said, okay, well, okay, if I don't do tile and I don't do the shower pan, what can I do? <laughs> like, um, if you want to keep the cabinets, you could probably repaint those if you want to do that. Or if you want to repaint some of the walls, you can do that yourself. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I could do that. I'm like, maybe the light fixtures, if you're, you know, okay with changing out the light fixture, if that's something you want to change out, um, you don't have to, you know, but his main concern was really that zero threshold curbless shower. Okay. And then he got thinking, well, if I do the master, then maybe I'll do the other bathroom down the hall. And I can hear the mission creep coming on here. I'm going, oh gosh. Okay. And I know some of you may start that thinking down that road as well too. Um, and so he goes, well, maybe I'll just, you know, make the other bathroom, you know, a shower only. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. Before you get down that road, think about the resale value of your home. You're going to be, you know, you want to stay in your house for another 10, 15 years. That's great. But you need to leave at least one tub, even though you're not going to use it. You're not the one who's going to be using that bathtub. You're going to have family come over. They may have little kids, you know, younger kids, whatever, whoever, maybe they need the tub. Or even when you resell the house, a family's going to buy your house that are going to have little kids. He goes, well, I don't know if a family would, you know, buy my house because I've got five acres that grass needs to be cut often. And I'm like, you know what, dad, I'm thinking that's not going to happen because they're not going to do it themselves. They're probably, my generation is the kind that goes, well, I'm going to hire somebody to come cut the grass. They're not going to do it. And he's just shocked. He's like, 
but that grass that needs to be cut, that just needs to be done, like, yes, and they will hire somebody. Well, he was just sputtering. He just couldn't get over that thinking. That's not the way they think. So when he was to I told him to keep the bathtub, he's like, well, I don't know, but this family, like, you've got to think about who's going to buy the house. It's not going to be a single person. It may be an older person, but at least you have the one shower and you have the one tub. And that is the resale value that you need to think about when it comes time to sell your home. You need to have at least one bathtub in that house. Okay. And if you are thinking of reselling your home, um, I do have a free checklist that you can download called 30 easy tips to get your house ready to sell. It's an easy checklist. I talk about 30 things that you can do yourself to get your house ready. Things like looking at curb appeal, looking inside each of the rooms, what you can remove, what you can add, what you should take out, those kinds of things, you know? So I'll put the link in the um, show notes so you can take a look at that um, and help you get your house ready to sell. But then again, if you're not looking to do a whole remodel of your master bathroom or be, um, then maybe you're thinking of a hall bathroom, maybe your budget budget is limited. Um, so simple things can be like, well, I'm just going to remove the medicine cabinet because those, those are really dated. Now we had a medicine cabinet, in one of our bathrooms in Virginia back in, what was it? 2008, nine, 10, something like that. Yeah. It totally took that sucker down, covered up the hole, plastered it over, and a mirror went over the top of it. Okay, just a flat mirror, nice framed mirror. But that medicine cabinet, mm, no, nope, went away. Um, because then the stuff that would have gone in the medicine cabinet went into the cabinet under the sink. Okay, um, so removing the medicine cabinet is something that you can easily do and replace with a mirror. And you can find mirrors, um, framed mirrors fairly inexpensively for less than a hundred bucks in places like Lowe's. Yes. The home improvement store. Yes. They have them there. Um, TJ Maxx, Ross, um, Hobby Lobby, any of those places will have nice mirrors that you can use in your bathroom. Um, like I mentioned before, you can paint walls, you can replace the lights. Um, things like replacing countertops may get a little more expensive, but if you are just not loving the sink that's there, cause it's one of those pre molded with the countertop in there, that may be something you may want to take a look at when it comes to um, getting um, remnants of granite. If that's the type of um, stone you want to use or some other materials, look for remnants at different um, stone and tile places. Okay, um, so those are just some things to get your mind thinking about what you can do, give you some bathroom remodeling ideas. Think about if you're trying to help your parents maybe, you know, age in their home. Um, those are the types of things that could help them stay and live in their home comfortably for a couple more years um, with a curbless or zero threshold um, and tile. And what you can do, them, they, they do themselves, what they may not want to do themselves, because I know each generation has their own way of thinking. I get it. Um, but yeah, but that's some ideas to help you think about what you can do. Um, one last thing I do want to bring up, um, when it comes to tile, I know a lot of you, uh, may be thinking, okay, well, how do I make this, you know, tr you know, trends? I see all these trends of tiles and things like that, um, in the bathroom. It really depends on how long you're going to be living in that house. If you really plan on living in that house for, eight to 10 years or longer, then that may be something you may want to put in some nice tile that you love. Okay. Like some floor tiles, right? Um, if it's something that you think is for resale value, you want to go with more classic timeless tile. Um, I know some generations don't look like the subway tile. Some like the bigger, fatter pieces, you know, where they're, you know, 10 by like 24 inches long, you know, so there's, there's different kinds out there. Um, so if you do have some questions and need some inspiration, um, take a look on Pinterest. That's a great way, place to start to get pictures and things like that too. So I hope this inspires you and lets you think about ways that you can update, remodel your bathroom to make it more your own. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and we'll talk to you later.